Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Peter Moxlin, Keeper Emeritus. Last time we did our first little tutorial mission. I still have not clicked this button yet, so... Let's go see what happens. Package delivered to 31 PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... It's bad luck. Well, shit. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1-PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. Okay, there's a critical target waiting on the city map. I can see where they just kind of ripped stuff from XCOM 2 to use as a to use as a skeleton for this one. So can we just yeah, 150 credits? And on Thursday, March 1st. Welcome we can't just to click on City that. 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Sweet! Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1 PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. Okay. The map is where we see the, stat the status of City 31 and any current targets we can send our squad to respond to. Chimera Squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. Targets come in two types. Missions are tactical targets. The squad will go into combat on these. Situations are strategic targets. The squad takes care of these without entering combat. Okay, so situations are the more minor ones then, probably. Like, at the very least, more narrative. The, t the current targets change every day, so watch the city carefully for new priorities. Downtown district. It is that... Memorial Museum Aftermath. Probably that. I'm, I'm trying to see what, what different buttons I could press to all get the same result. Try this. Okay, it does do that. 31 PD needs help pouring through the aftermath of tonight's attack. Mayor Nightingale's death has the city on edge. Let's do what we can to help. Situation. Okay, so no combat. Sure, uh, depending on how long this takes, this could be the episode. I kind of doubt it, though. Okay. Uh, from the archives. What, what, blah, blah. we've done what we can to aid, uh, 31PD. Commissioner Malouf. 
no idea, pass along her thanks for helping her officers bear the weight of this attack. Your work with 3-1-PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three groups in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Choose a faction to be the investigation target. The target faction cannot be changed until it's resolved. I can't read that thanks to the tutorial pop-up. Okay, so we have the progeny. Just kind of looking at what they all look like. A loose network of human scions. I guess that's uh, psionics. Their vision for, C for City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Great Phoenix, an organization of alien scavengers, they have quietly amassed the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated to, co to recover. Sacred... Yeah... I, I want to say gods or something, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. Hi, Chrysalids. So it's basically... I feel like you need to do all three of these eventually, but it's basically psionics, direct weapons, I guess alien-specific stuff like Chrysalids, where it's not specifically guns or psionics. You know, give me the interesting aliens. I am interested in that. I can't... I was hoping that, that I could just, like, click it away. Oh, well. Sacred coil is what happens when former Advent officers find religion, or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31 PD's jurisdiction? True. The Reclamation Agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, a dangerous organization is off the streets. Exactly. The city wants justice for Mayor Nightingale. This is how we help them achieve it. Tackling Investigations Every investigation has three stages. Groundwork. From this first mission, learn about the faction and their methods. Operations. Hidden missions that must be revealed, then completed, to knock out the faction's main plans. Takedown. Stop their final attack and end their threat to City 31. Okay, that's a really nice evolution of the Chosen thing, because you actually get to participate in it at all three stages, and the three stages are functionally different. Like, you first just get introduced to them, then you need to uncover the next bit, and it knocks out their plan, so it has a different narrative thread. And then the final thing, uh, which is kind of like taking out the Chosen Coffin, but, but, uh, but uh, putting it as part of that three-step process. More information, okay. Active, active operation, investigate Sacred Coil. We need to know more about Sacred Coil before we can proceed with our investigation. Action overview, blah, 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 yep. No active dark events. March 2, investigation opened, or 2 March, I guess. Action leadership. Sacred Coil's propaganda is directly adapted from Advent. Their leadership must have a connection. I forgot if I can tell the silhouette there, and aside from humanoid, so like maybe an Advent, uh, Captain or whatever equivalent. Eh, hard to tell. This is the assembly area. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. You can select an agent to add to your squad. Mission that must be completed today. View the assembly area. We also have the armory supply and investigation. Okay, we have 70 Illyrium. Zero per week at the moment, so we can build up our Illyrium income. Okay. And check it out. Headquarters sent us an assembly. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. It'll take time to stress test our patterns. But once we have them, we're good to go. 
Okay, so they sent us the, so they sent us a 3D printer. Got it. Assembly projects are how you get access to new or better items and equipment. Each project can unlock new items for XCOM supply, new weapon or armor upgrades, or a variety of other useful things. Agents assigned here decrease the time it takes to complete the project. You can advance one assembly project at a time, which takes multiple days to complete and usually costs resources such as Illyria. You can assign an agent to uh, blah, blah, blah. you can assign an agent to assembly duty to speed up the, the current project. However, they will be then they will then be unavailable for missions or situations. Delirium resource. Delirium is one of three resources reclamation requires. It is spent to complete projects in the assembly. Android personnel is that the is that the equivalent of gremlin maybe? Got the one. Okay. Construct an Android OPS hub. This network allows us to use Androids on tactical missions and enables new assembly projects. Panelarium, two days, assumedly, grants one Android tactical unit. Android units purchasable in supply unlocks all entry level assembly projects. Okay. I did. armory like. The armory is where you manage your agents. Loadout. Manage weapons, armor, or and other items. Agent abilities. Unlock new abilities by promoting agents that have earned enough XP. Agent biography. Also, so, so you actually need to promote them yourself, I guess? But also, it's just that they have... Eh, I'll have to see how that works. Agent biography. Learn more about the agent's background. Tint armor. Change colors on your agent's uniform. Select an agent to begin management. More slots become available in loadout by completing assembly projects. Promotions are awarded to agents based on their performance in combat. New ranks come with increased stats, new abilities, and, tra and new training programs, all of which you see and manage here. Hold on, let me actually read that and absorb it. Promotions are awarded to agents based on their performance in combat. Yeah, that's the XP stuff. New ranks come with increased stats, new abilities, new training programs, Okay, stats, abilities, I get. Training programs, I'm not sure what that's talking about. The director convinced the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. Okay, so this is, you can select one agent to join, to join your squad. So Claymore, Torque, or Zephyr. Okay, time to learn how to use these. Or how to parse them. Close quarters, high mobility, moving enemies slash allies, poison, explosives, AOE, breaching. Aim 75, aim 65, aim 65, so by default I probably want you because you have better aim. Crippling blow. Agent punches an enemy and inflicts one of several status effects. The effect is either disarm, disorient, stun, or root. This attack cannot miss and will trigger momentum. So you're a Templar. With a name like Zephyr, I could believe it, actually. Okay. Fearless Advance. Zephyr blitzes toward an enemy and melee attacks them after the breach. This will position Zephyr near the enemy. If the enemy was alert, their alert breach action is cancelled. Huh. Adapting? Oh, God. I'll read the ones that I take, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, Torque. So, your thing... Actually, your aim doesn't matter as much then, because if you're a Templar and you're based on physical, or on, on like, melee stuff, then aim isn't as important, I think. Okay. You have the lowest mobility. You have some dodge inherent, which is good. Bind. Agent wraps up an enemy, dealing damage and preventing them from, from, from acting on their turn. Hmm, solid. Bound enemies cannot be targeted by XCOM for risk of damaging agent. Free action. However, shooting ends your turn no matter what, as far as I'm currently aware. So that means that you can't, like, shoot, then bind someone else. You're essentially foregoing the ability to kill an enemy in favor of stopping them from acting this round. Tongue pull. 
agent shoots out, shoots out their tongue to grab a unit and pull them into melee range. Can be used on enemies and allies. Some oversized targets cannot be pulled. Now that we have this on our side, that's actually a little bit more of a useful utility thing. Can you quote this gesture? I'm a two. Okay, your thing is explosives by the looks of it. Shrapnel bomb. Agent throws an explosive that detonates after several turns. Ooh, ooh. The immediate explosions of the grenades from all the other games was kind of what made them so useful. Even the claymore needing to be shot at was like, it, it made it worse to use but had other benefits. The explosive does not deal damage, does not deal damage through cover and can be targeted to detonate it early. Ah, okay, there's the claymore equivalent. Does not... Yeah, shrapnel bomb to claymore, yeah. Does not end the turn if used as first action. Oh, that's kind of interesting, actually. Locked. I have a feeling they all have a locked ability, but his is earlier. Concussive charge. Claymore detonates a powerful charge. His name is Claymore. Duh, I forgot about that. Rupturing all enemies near the... I guess rupturing is still a thing, then. Rupturing all enemies near the breach point. Usable on wall breach points. One use permission. For now, I think I'm going to take Torque. I don't know how useful your melee abilities are. You being able to throw a grenade and then shoot seems like it could be super useful. But being able to stop an enemy from acting, just kind of in general, just anyone you can see, seems like it could be a very helpful thing if you're like later... Actually, if you're later on in the turn order, that wouldn't be as helpful. I need to figure out the actual use cases, but let's go with Torque. Read through your biography really quickly, because why the hell not? Old World Origin, Siberia. Prior to war, hatched at a new Arctic facility in 2020. Rough time. Rough time. Six, 2016 to 2034, attached to Advent, learned to target and track down undesirable elements, hunted down resistance groups. 2035, 2035 War for, for Liberation, actively fought resistance and XCOM for the war's duration, 15 years old at the time. The present, offered to serve as Opfer, opposing force, training for post-war XCOM soldiers in training because, in her own words, okay, her, good to know, detention is boring and this way I can still fight XCOM. Kind of a dick, aren't you? Placed under the direct supervision of Colonel Kelly, with whom she formed an unexpected an unexpected bond, requested to, requested a transfer after after Colonel Kelly's promotion to director of the XCOM Reclamation Agency, assigned to assigned to Chimera Squad with the director's approval. Neat. Torque. Whisper. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. Then no, we aren't good. Well, at least things are back to normal. Okay. So we have a primary, armor, breach, utility. Nothing, 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 nothing. Understandable. So we go to you. Oh, I expected you to have uh, an item. There we go, breach and charge. Take you off of the breaching charge and see if we can equip it during the mission or something. Huh, neat. Okay, so that was the armory. Supply. Our temporary field office has all the basics. Weapons, comms, and ammunition. Supply is where we request everything else. As long as it's in the squad's budget, it's ours. XCOM Supply. The XCOM supplies where you buy all your core items and equipment. Items you unlock from assembly projects become permanently available here, too. Credits. Credits are one of three resources are one of three resources reclamation requires. They are spent in supply, but to both buy new items and upgrade existing ones. Hi, upgrade what? We can get a sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know. Everyone hates them. 
Okay. Is there a follow-up to that? Grants breach access through a security door. Okay, these are limited use then, I guess. Maybe? Cease fire grenade. Disables all firearms in a large radius. Oh, combo this with Zephyr or something? Like, just have a melee squad where you just punch the enemies down, but then send this in first? Medkit can restore 4 HP to a single agent. Can also be used to remove burning, acid, and poison effects. Carrying a medkit grants immunity to an immunity to poison. Okay, uh, you know what? Basic XCOM logic is make sure to have a medkit, so... Sure. What the hell are Trank... Oh, Trank rounds. That's a weird cue. Okay. If the target would be killed, they will be rendered unconscious instead. Unconscious units are captured at the end of each mission. One, because I can't buy more than two. Okay, hold on. Uh, view inventory. Quantity one. The problem is that I don't know if they're used up or not. You supply. Oh, you toggle between supply and inventory. Okay. And tracer rounds are 75. Plus five aim to an agent when equipped. Okay. Five aim might make a lot of difference in this one, actually. Let's stick with just that for now, just the med kit and the trank rounds. Kind of curious about the ceasefire grenade, but that might that might screw us over. And I don't have a lot of money to mess around with, so stick with that. Over to the armory. Go to terminal, loadout, give you the trank. Oh, no, wait. You have the gremlin. You got the med kit. Uh, okay. I'll try and use our arrow keys to move between them. Guess not. Give you the breaching charge just so you have it, I guess. Let's give you Trank Rounds for now. I don't know the game well enough to know if that's a good loadout at all or not. I suppose high single damage would be good for Trank Rounds, because then we can, like, really close to guarantee that we uh, get the capture, because as long as it gets the kill, it captures instead. And then Investigation. Is just that? Okay. Okay, so you're currently idle. I would like to take you on a mission, though, so... Hmm. Agent is currently assigned to APC duty. Are you sure you want to change their assignment? What the hell is APC duty? <laughs> You. I'm glad we can we can change that from here. Actually, the squares are really nicely interactable. Yeah. Uh, because Torque? No, Torque is the Viper. Cherub. Because Cherub had the shield, I feel like he's gonna have some kind of damage mitigation or something. Godmother seemed like the only one that didn't have any kind of like extra utility beyond has a gun. Let's try this. Is that 35 credits to do it, or 35 credits as a reward? Eh. Oh, let's get into the mission. Difficulty easy. Whisper here. I'll keep you updated on any activities requiring our attention. Speaking of, speaking of which, Sick Coil is raiding a storage facility that holds Advent Era contraband. We should, present, we should prevent that, right? Rewards, 35 credits. Send ABC. We are not the police. If you see a theft... Call it into 31 PD and move on. But there is one notable exception. Hostile forces carrying dangerous contraband may attempt to flee the scene. Don't let them escape. T 
tempted to give Verge the Trank instead, because, again, that higher damage. Uh, let's just leave Cherub with the Trank for now. Because uh, Verge has all the mind stuff. I want a sniper. <laughs> This week, a security camera spotted sacred coil flunkies sniffing around this warehouse. Today, the silent alarm went off. The place is full of Advent-era contraband on the way to a tech vault. Why catalog these things? You should melt it all down. Yeah, we have unique dialogue. Okay, delayed, disabled. The last unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Bill. One, two, one, four... Watchtower. Unit automatically... Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. The icon says that's a good thing. Rear guard. Last unit through this entrance gains plus one armor for the encounter. I think that's specifically this fourth spot, uh, this fourth spot not just like the last one. Let's put you on three... Let's have you up here. And you. Right, we breach first, okay. Okay, so if Torque has zero armor, then we know that the thing I said is accurate. Time to breach. Okay. Three visible prized android. I guess that's the robot sign for this game. Surprised commando, or not. Surprised android. And also they have a bit more health now. Okay. Oh, nice percent chance. Hmm. Start with you. See one, so go ahead and go ahead. Intending to flee, I guess. Team up uses the XCOM symbol. Once permission, an agent, or at least something close to the XCOM symbol, an agent can be moved onto the timeline so that they take their next turn. So that they take the next turn. This ability is shared by the entire squad. So once permission, we can just force someone to move next. Preparation. And it's mission, not way. Like, we have three encounters here. If there is encounter one of three, it's once per mission. Preparation grants a defensive bonus and moves the agent's next turn earlier in the timeline. Use this when an agent is caught in a dangerous situation or, it, or, or to coordinate tactics. Okay, so preparation is the thumbs up and that basically hunkers them and moves them up in the timeline. Okay. Who is more likely to not... Okay. I think that this is more likely to flank and so a good shot, so let's stupor you. Let's stupor you. Your mind falls away. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, good. Point flip. Damn it. Moving where we're needed. Oh, okay. Each time damage is blocked with a kinetic shield, Cherub gains charge. Higher charge increases the damage of charged bash and makes it deal damage in a coronal area behind the target. Okay, so I'm going to stop using Cherub then, because I, I generally don't play in such a way that I want to get shot at. Right, right. <laughs> I pressed shift to uh, go to the next person. Found a better position. 
doesn't really matter. Let's just go for cover for the hell of it. Cannot subdue. Go for the shot. Good. And like, I, I mean that actually, because at one health we can guarantee the capture. Time to pull those two, so let's try going over here. Slithering. Be quick about it. Okay, just overwatch then. Yeah. Got the drop on him. Do go ahead. Hostile is under arrest. And everyone reloads at the end of the encounter. Good. Sacred Coil stole specialized mech parts. The kind you can't easily replicate. Mech parts? Sounds like Sacred Coil needs to bulk up their numbers. Okay. Three total. And I didn't see any armor on uh, Torque, so yeah, I think that it's only if you fill that up for that one. Anyway, good visibility. All units entering here get plus 25 aim. Quick snare. First unit through gets rooted for one round. And we need to put someone through. And quick scan, first unit is marked until end of the encounter. You, you, you. We shall move in. Breaching in. Okay, you can only see one, they're alert. Kept the trank on you. Whoops. Yeah, go for this. Good. Yeah, I don't have a lot of other options, so go ahead. Yeah, go for the kill. So we got one commando, one android. And everyone's intending to flee. Assumedly. Okay. By the way, uh, the scroll here is inverted from, from what I'm used to. Like, normally this would be... Is it, actually? Huh, not sure. Anyway. Cool, you got 25 aim. If only you could shoot something. Yeah, I guess this. Go ahead. Works. Oh, hot. Oh. Still need to get used to that. I did not have a better option there. Sacred coil is on the run. Don't lose them in the warehouse. Okay, delay disabled. Last unit through has their weapon disabled. Pinpoint, successful shots will crit. Agent damage likely. Oh. Ready for anything? All units through this entrance get plus 50 dodge for one round. Let's put you through there. And you, you, you. These will all crit. You get plus 50 dodge. You can damage likely. Do you mean just damage from entering the room? I assume that it's like higher chance of enemies being aggressive and so they shoot us really quickly. Stay behind me. Time to breathe. Aggressive, alert, try to kill. Damn. Good. Oh, 
chance to kill you. Good. That was the one that wasn't guaranteed to crit, I'm pretty sure. There's our target. Oh, purifier, great. Wait, you still intend to flee? This is encounter three of three. Hold on, which one's number two? You? Cherub. I assume that they will not... Actually, no, your charge bash replaces your subdue. Yeah, give it a shot. I... Book em. Hey, it worked. Okay, next one is you. We don't have a flank. We do have... Huh. Don't expect that to get vision. Yeah, just... Okay. Weird. Actually, we're on... Uh... We're on three. We're on encounter three and three. So what if I team up? Yes, that. Because you cannot get vision on this guy for some reason. So just shoot this one. Actually, subdue. Cannot subdue. Or cannot subdue the other one. So just shoot you. Shield bash you. I'm trying to stay off of the uh, special tiles there because I don't know if it's going to work or not. I made the arrest. Subdue you. I like five subdues on that one or something. Why don't you lie down for a bit? From five captured enemies, you have earned 20 intel. It's not a percent chance, just you get it at that point. Okay. Still basically in tutorial mode, but it's a flawless mission. Actually, yeah, the enemies always fled, now that I think about it, so they don't shoot at you. It's actually a, that's actually a kind of clever way to do that, to make sure that you have a good mission this early on. Mech Heist Curtail. Good work. The last thing City 31 needs is more Advent mechs spreading terror. Oh, and Director Kelly's on the line. I'll patch her through when you get back to base. Okay. Well, that's it for the mission. That's the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do a like YouTube subscribe a million times. I hope you have a wonderful mini for day. And hope to see you in the next one, where we will talk to Director Kelly, I guess. Still gonna feel this about this game's gonna flow. See you in the next one. Bye.